Baldwin, a guy named Baldwin, the one that didn't kill that porking girl yeah. in the movie said, I guess. Wasn't his fault, though, right? Wasn't his fault. Wasn't his fault. Wasn't his fault. No, no, some, somebody else's fault. How many people have oh. shot somebody on camera and just and not w- gone to jail. walked away from it? Not gone to jail. He, <laughs> he's good. And, and, and been belligerent yeah. about about accusations. Yeah. You know, <laughs> belligerent <laughs> about the girl. Well, well, he about shot the girl, too. Yeah, that's he true. shot two people. Yeah, Because he, he shot the, one person, it went through that person and yeah. killed the other person. Yeah, it was like the camera operator and yeah. the director of photography. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that he, he shot two people. two people, <laughs> killed one on camera in front of people and walked away from it. Yeah, and they played that for the jury, and of course they didn't get to do that because he's a Democrat. Isn't that amazing? Such an amazing deal. All right. Advice on blood pressure. This is not this Baldwin's fault, obviously. (laughs) Advice on blood pressure. Found out my blood pressure has been high. Yes, I did check to make sure they were using the correct cuff. Recently, the primary care physician... Put me on BP medications, which has improved my blood pressure from 160 to 100, over 100 to 130 over 80. He also started me on testosterone and <clears> said <throat> I would feel better with a testosterone level over 900. Well, now that's interesting. That's a very interesting hmm. development. That's very interesting there. because there's not three primary care physicians on the surface of the planet. <laughs> That have got that much sense, and definitely none that would give you testosterone if your blood pressure was high. Yeah, right, right. Because everyone, yeah, they all think, you know. Well, he think. needs to hold on to this doctor then. Yeah, don't get, don't lose this guy. Any advice on training tips that can help improve improve blood pressure numbers? Currently, I'm thirty nine five three one ninety. Hold on. Wait, say that again. Hold on. Five three. I'm thirty nine five three one ninety. Squats 500, bench 385, <laughs> deadlift 500, press 245. With a testosterone under 900. Well, <laughs> that's all right. Now look, um, <laughs> training doesn't actually affect your blood pressure <clears throat> in a negative way. Not training affects it in a negative way, but training doesn't affect it in a negative way. But you are 5'3 and you weigh 190. You might find that if you are concerned about your blood pressure, and I'm not necessarily saying you should be. In fact, I don't know that I would take the blood pressure medication if I was 160 over 100. I don't know that I would take it. What I think I might do is drop down to 175 and see what that does to it. I don't think you need to be anything lighter than that. But, I mean, you're handling decent numbers. Oh, he's good to go. Mm-hmm. You you, know. He should consider, is my opinion, but I've seen this over and over and over again in, in clients and myself too, but, you know, weight loss, number one, but also get a sleep study or just buy a fucking CPAP and start yeah. using it. And I bet your blood pressure <clears throat> goes down within a week. Yeah, now that's a real good point. Yeah, if he's, if he's heavy, short, he's probably not breathing well at night. Yeah. I would imagine that at 5'3", 190, he's, he's – probably having breathing problems while he's asleep now the first thing i would try is the oxymetazoline because you don't it's less drama right uh a cpap machine i don't know that i could get used to that you know i don't know that i could go to sleep wearing a contraption on my head yeah it takes a couple days well most people takes a couple days to get used to 